Welcome to the regular Board of Education meeting for Wednesday, July 29, 2015. Has this meeting been properly noticed? Yes. Could you please call the roll? Vito? Here. Eliason? Here. Evans? Here. McCarter? Here. Herzog? Here. Lumberger? Olmsted? Here. We have a forum. Uh, at this time, we will do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, at this time, we have board administrative reports. Uh, Mr. Mack, do you have a report? Yes, um, we have the shortest uh, superintendent's good news report one can ever produce, uh, almost. And uh, and uh, we'll if Kim is ready to yeah. move the slide. We'll all right. Um, uh, the first is uh, Oshkosh West uh, uh, High School student uh, uh, Jordan Bailing was recognized as a top composer in the state of Wisconsin as part of the nine, uh, 2015 WSMA student competition. Uh, the project was created uh, to provide opportunities to create students with um, artistic abilities in Wisconsin. Jordan submitted his original musical composition entitled Evening on Erie. Uh, Jordan will be recognized in August at the Wisconsin School Music Association's Student Composers Recognition Awards in Wanakee. Uh, congratulations to Jordan. And then the second slide just simply um, shows how short the list can be uh, if the superintendent's on vacation. And uh, that uh, is the extent of uh, the good news report for, <laughs> for um, uh, the past several weeks. So thank you. Are there any uh, reports from committee chairs? Seeing none, uh, looks like non-agenda related public forum. Does anyone want to speak on a non-agenda related item this evening? Uh, agenda related public forum. Does anyone wish to speak on a agenda related public forum? Seeing none, we will move on to the consent resolution agenda. Uh, for the consent agenda, the board has been furnished with background material on each item and has or discussed it at a previous meeting. These will be acted upon with one vote without discussion. If a board member wants to discuss any item that will be pulled out of the consent agenda, it will be voted on separately. Uh, so far, I've been uh, asked to pull uh, number four A and B, number seven, and number 17. Does anybody else want to pull anything else? All right, at that, uh, then we will consent agenda. <coughs> Uh, number one, minutes of June 17, 2015, regular board meeting. Number two, minutes of June 17, 2015, executive session of regular board meeting. Uh, number three, bills payable. Uh, number five, independent hearing officers for expulsions of 2015-16 school year. Number six, Sheldon Nature uh, area deed restriction. Uh, number eight, uh, CESA 6 contracts for 2015. <coughs> Number 9, tentative agreement with the Non-Teaching Employee Association, tentative agreement with the Oscar Education um, Association, the OEA, tentative agreement with the Oshkosh Paraprofessional Education Association, OEA, uh, One Step and Longevity Movement for Eligible non Employee Association, NTEA, One Step Movement for Eligible Oshkosh Paraprofessional Association, OPEA, a wage increase, One Step and Longevity Movement for number uh, for eligible food service employees. I would like to pull number 15. Uh, number 16, Administration Compensation for 2015-16. And number 18, uh, District Level Movement for Eligible Professional Educators. So moved. Second. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Evans? Yes. Evans, aye. Garner? Aye. Garner, aye. Herzog? Aye. Herzog, aye. Lumberger? Olmsted? Aye. Olmsted, aye. Vito? Aye. Vito, aye. Eliason? Aye. Eliason, aye. Motion carried. I'm going to the agenda items. Uh, number four, A. Uh, be it resolved, the Oshkosh Area School District Board of Education approved the appointments, temporary appointments, resignations, retirements, and salary schedule as filed with the Secretary of the Board of Education. So 
so moved. Second. I had asked that this one be pulled. Um, in keeping with the spirit of our first strategic goal in which we recognize the contributions of our teachers and the, using a definition of the word teacher to be a very broad one to include custodians and maintenance staff and prayer professionals and um, secretaries and teachers and administrators. I ask that this be pulled because I wanted to be able to thank those who um, have contributed to the growth and development of our students and whose resignations and retirements will be acted on through this resolution and also to welcome those who are joining the district who will be appointed tonight. Sure. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Garner? Aye. Garner, aye. Herself? Aye. Herself, aye. Lumberger? Olmstead? Aye. Olmstead, aye. Eagle? Aye. Tito, aye. Eliason? Aye. Eliason, aye. Evans? Aye. Evans, aye. Evans, aye. Uh, resolution 4 B B resolved that the Oshkosh Area School District Board of Education approve the appointments and salary schedule as filed with the Secretary of the Board of Education. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion. I had also asked that this one be pulled. Um, since I joined the board, I've, I've made an effort to um, become a better board member and one of the reasons one of the ways that I've sought to do that is to attend many of the workshops and conferences of the Wisconsin Association of School Boards and uh, I, I appreciate the work that that staff does in um, providing a focus for newer school board members in terms of defining our roles and one of those is that our main responsibility is the hiring and oversight of the superintendent and a second major role has to do with policy establishing policy and then making sure it's um, implemented and um, the reason I ask that this one be pulled is not because I have any issue with the individuals involved uh, in the um, in joining the administrative ranks but I do have a question regarding the, the following of, of policy in in this regard um, policy 220 addresses administrator hiring and it has a sentence in there stating that applicants for administrative positions shall be screened interviewed and recommended for employment in accordance with rule 220 administrator hiring procedure that procedure goes on to define two committees and the makeup of those two committees uh, for administrator vacancies and based on information I've received it does not appear that this policy was followed. Um, the first of the committees <coughs> is supposed to include at a minimum, and I'm quoting here, the supervising administrator, the executive director of human resources, the superintendent, an administrator in a like position, an employee who will be supervised by the administrator, and a board member, a community representative, or a consultant. Um, based on the information I received today, that was not the makeup of the committee. There's uh, provision number nine under administrative rule in that section goes on to say that if there is a second interview it will be for principals, it will be conducted by a committee comprised of representatives of the building site council and the supervising administrator. My understanding is that the second round of interviews included <coughs> the principal of the building, the executive team, and the superintendent. That's not provided for in the rule, and thus it would seem to me that we're not following the policy. I have reviewed this with, with uh, WASB uh, legal staff and they tell me if as a board we're not following our policy we set ourselves up to be sued by anyone who was not appointed to one of these positions. So um, I'm not sure how to address this. Maybe it needs to go back to policy and governance yeah. and if the rules need to be changed mm -hmm. because they're outdated. These go back to I believe 2009-2010 but these are the rules right now, so we need to be following the policy and the rules. Would you want to take that back to PNG? I can certainly do that. Maybe you can get some guidance from WASB on sure. sample. Sure, and some input from administration on um, the current practice, if that yeah. is deemed to be the way that, that we should be going. Sure. But I think we need to be following our policies. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. <coughs> Other discussion? 
Uh, call the roll, I guess. Herzog? Aye. Herzog, aye. Lemberger? Olmstead? Aye. Olmstead, aye. Dito? Aye. Dito, aye. Eliza? Aye. Eliza, aye. Aye. Evans? Aye. Evans, aye. Garner? Aye. Garner, aye. Motion carries. Next one is proposed motion number seven. I would entertain a motion to uh, waive a reading of this. It has to do with <laughs> the uh, purchase of property of uh, Viola Avenue, tax parcel number 1514900000 uh, in the city of Oshkosh. So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, discussion? And also, oh, this is not the way. I'm sorry. What's that? Discussion on the way. Sorry. Okay. Lemberger, Olmsted? Aye. Olmsted, I, Dito. Aye. Dito, I, Eliza. Aye. Eliza, I, Evans. Aye. Evans, I, Garner. Aye. Aye. Garner, I, Herzog. Aye. Herzog, I, motion carried. Our discussion. I had also asked that this one be pulled. Um, there's no question that that Oakland School is just a, a beautiful building. One of the concerns I had when the, the board approved <coughs> the building of that um, edifice is that it was not going to leave a lot of space for the children, not a lot of green space. And so I'm really delighted that we will be able to, as a district, acquire property that will be allow us to expand that and will be, allow us to collaborate with the city on some recreational use in that area. And so I wanted to be able to thank Sue Schnorr and uh, Mr. Mack, the superintendent, and Jim Fox for their work on this, along with Allison Garner, the facilities um, committee chair. Well, you met with the attorney. <laughs> so, and anyone else I've missed who was involved in that. But I'm just delighted that we're going to be able to acquire this property and have uh, more green space there, not only for uh, the students and the phi ed program, but people in the neighborhood who may want to use green space. So I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, members, uh, you, President um, Steve, um, I just would like to uh, appreciate uh, Bob's involvement with that. Um, we were driven to really continue to look at that because we were trying to build an obstacle so we didn't look at such ugly property. <laughs> it pays to be persistent. And I have to um, compliment even going back to Bob Tess. Bob Tess um, uh, built a, um, uh, a relationship with um, uh, the uh, owner whose estate this was in. I spent time with the owner um, uh, sometime after after that actually asking for a donation of the property. I was unsuccessful on a full donation, but for acquiring the property um, uh, at all, uh, when the administrator of the estate uh, became involved, he informed us that as a result of Bob Tess's inquiry and my meeting um, uh, with the owner of the property and asking for first right of first refusal, at least for the school district, that was remembered and passed on to the administrator of the estate. And we're really grateful because um, uh, uh, as, um, as uh, Sue discovered, when she and J um, Jim and uh, Principal were walking the property, there is a, there's a tenant that's been there for years that's being displaced um, um, but um, uh, but uh, um, uh, Mr. Keenest had um, had clearly passed on to the administrator that the intent was that this be right of first refusal to the school district and at a, a reasonable price uh, in order to um, enhance the property of, of that school site so uh, we have a lot of people to thank um, to do that but it'll be a much more uh, gracious look on the, the east, on the west side of that building <laughs> so we're grateful to get it done with. Yeah, I was on the city assessor's website. I was just looking at the property of, of Oaklawn now and the property that it's going to be when we mm -hmm. have those properties. And it just looks so much more like a school, mm -hmm. school property with that extra right. back. Mm -hmm. It's great. Any other discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Olmstead. Aye. Olmstead, I. Dito. Aye. Dito, I. Eliza. Aye. Eliza, I. Garner. Aye. Garner, I. Herzog. Aye. Herzog, I. Lemberger. Motion carried. Resolution 15. Resolve the School District Board of Education approve a 1.62% increase in base wages for the International Association of Theatrical Stage Employees as filed with the Secretary of the Board of Education. So moved. Second. 
I ask that this be pulled. I will uh, abstain on this because of my uh, association relationship with uh, the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Ito. Abstain. Ito, abstain. Eliza? Aye. Eliza, aye. Evans? Aye. Evans, aye. Garner? Aye. Garner, aye. Herzog? Aye. Herzog, aye. Lemberger? Olmstead? Aye. Olmstead, aye. Motion carried. Uh, resolution 17B of resolved the Oshkosh Area School District Board of Education approve a 1.62% increase in the extracurricular base and longevity movement for eligible athletic coaches effective within the 2015-16 school year as filed with the Secretary of the Board of Education. So moved. Okay. Discussion? I had also asked that this one be pulled. Um, the reason being that I believe that all of us received an email from a district employee who was questioning exactly what this covered. And I just wanted to be clear that we all knew what we were voting on, <laughs> or that I at least, I knew what I was voting on. Uh, but it, my understanding is it includes um, not only coaches, but various and sundry extracurricular positions as well. And Mr. Nault can probably shed some additional light on that. Yeah, well, I can't remember the exact positions. You know, we're talking like drama and newspaper and forensics and yearbook and those types of extracurricular activities. And in the communication that I sent to you and I sent to that employee, it included all those all those extracurriculars. So they are all they are all linked to that base. So when that base moves, their salary moves a little bit. Thank you for clarifying. Mm -hmm. that. Under discussion? Karen, would you please call the roll? Eliza? Aye. Eliza and I, Evans? Aye. Evans, aye. 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 Uh, announcements. Yes, I would like to, if uh, possible, to have Dr. Jones introduce uh, our two new assistant principals at West High School. Mm -hmm. uh, our first uh, assistant principal at West High School is Rebecca Montour. Hi. And our second is Renee Bungie, also at West High School. So we two new APs at West High School. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. And we now have a whole lot more English and music expertise um, in, in the buildings. <laughs> music, music. <laughs> we always tease about the origins of each administrator and what they bring in addition to their administrative task of having um, a good background knowledge in, in other areas. And so we're benefited by not only the present um, uh, skills, but um, the past experience as well. I read both of your um, introduction letters at the a newsletter that we just got sent out from the West, and they were really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited. I read the, mm -hmm. your backgrounds, and that was very exciting. Something mm -hmm. different. Yeah, it's a fabulous uh, West High School newsletter I read um, uh, this morning, and it, it um, yeah, it's um, it, it's oh, almost had all the dates in it, and I had to go like read it and then put it in my calendar, read it, put it in my calendar. <laughs> it was almost a mini novel. It was that long today. <laughs> Uh, any other announcements? Just a reminder, we have our quarterly meeting next Wednesday, and um, uh, and uh, the board self-evaluation, and then um, uh, superintendent evaluation and goal setting. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I guess the only other announcement I would like to make is that the board That's right. funded the use they are now available, so if the other board members would like to take them and put them up in the yards. Actually, it was friends of the board, right? Friends of the board. No right. tax dollars. Well, no tax dollars. The board itself brought these from 150 signs. Our intent is to give them out to the um, PTOs and have them disperse some people that might want to put them up. So, Thank you for making that happen. Yeah, yeah. they look great. They look great. Right. I'm glad somebody proofread it before we got <laughs> well, we've seen that stuff on the internet, right? Yeah. Uh, anything else on announcements? Uh, Join to executive session, uh, considering the 
uh, disciplinary data of specific persons, 19.851F, Wisconsin Statutes A, review expulsion recommendation for expulsion hearing officer for a high school student who won and engaged in conduct while at school or while under the supervision of a school authority which endangered the property, health, or safety of others at school, and two, repeated uh, refusal or neglect to obey school rules 120.13C of Wisconsin statutes. So moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing on the vote, please. Evan? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah